Deep submersible diving is very dangerous, but it is, uh, it's high tech, you know, and as each year goes by, the equipment gets better, the technology gets better, and so on. So uh, I'm very hopeful and very positive. I, I mean, uh, I was in the sub for uh, 12 hours. We have our own breathing system on board, and if that's maintained properly, like changing your uh, filter and your CO2 scrubber, you can stay down there for, you know, quite a few hours. And in our case, you know, I was down there for 12 hours total time in the sub, and, and the uh, new technology obviously can extend that too, right? So after receiving the call, uh, we uh, launched, uh, well, reached out to uh, the vessel Polar Prince and began a surface search uh, looking for uh, the submersible. At the same time, uh, we launched a C-130 uh, aircraft to search, to conduct an aerial search, uh, both visual and radar of uh, the scene. We've subsequently uh, coordinated with uh, the Canadian uh, Coast Guard and Canadian Armed Forces to deploy additional assets uh, to the scene. The Canadians have had a C-130 aircraft searching as well, in addition to also having a P-8 uh, submarine uh, search uh, aircraft uh, deploy as well and put uh, sonar buoys in the water uh, in attempt to uh, listen. The location of the search is approximately 900 miles uh, east of Cape Cod uh, in a water depth of uh, roughly 13,000 feet. It is a, a remote area uh, and it is a, a challenge to conduct a uh, search in that remote area. If you like this video, then like, share and subscribe to Mirror Now.